Hello friends and welcome to another episode of Lex's Budget Bunker Build. So for today's uh, jobs what I plan to do is to make up a steel frame for the top of the bunker shaft. So this frame will be what the um, what a hatch will eventually drop down into and um, that'll be the initially the main entry point for the um, bunker. So um, I've got so I'll just swing the camera around here a little bit and so I bought some uh, lengths of angle I was going to go with 60-60 they didn't have any of that um, they next size up was 75 which just was looking a bit too big uh, well, this is 50 by 50 which I think will be plenty plenty big enough when it's my hand for a bit of scale um, I think it's a 4 mil pretty, pretty sturdy so I want to make this into a frame to drop down into the top so my first job I think will be to um, I think I mentioned I'm going to run some steel rods from the surrounding concrete so that's the existing floor of the um, workshop so I'm going to drill some holes put some steel rods in there and drill some holes in here I'll be maybe on the short short ones maybe I don't know maybe three holes maybe on the long ones maybe four and the steel rods will be um, secured into the concrete probably just with epoxy resin and then um, I will weld um, you know where they can poke through these holes I'll weld them up grind them grind them flat and that'll anchor them into the existing concrete and then there's going to be um, rebar welded onto the bottom which will be welded onto the rebar frame of the shaft and then the whole thing will be um, embedded in concrete and um, so normally I normally when I try and make up a frame like this I'll, I'll cut diagonals um, you know 45 degrees and, and button them together but it never seems never quite seems to match up properly when I do that so this time I'm actually going to cut out cut out like a, a square in um, one end so that it then butts together and weld it up see if that works out any better all right let's crack on Sit oh I was wondering what was, what was sticking in the top of the camera there it was my finger <laughs> all right anyway yes all right so my first job's to mark out where i'm going to put these holes so this is one of the short lengths so we'll put three holes in here. This side. So I need to put my eyes on to see this. That's a thousand feet by view. So if I divide that by five, it'll give me three spaces in the middle there. So that's what's in it. 300. Good brain. 209. <coughs> that. Let's see if that works out. 209. Which is close enough. 210. 210. Uh, Twenty. Is my center punch gone?
Alright, so first I'm going to drill pilot holes. So I've marked that where the holes want to go. I'm going to drill a pilot hole in each one first. Um, and then progressively drill it out to the size I need it. This drill bit's pretty... <laughs> it's been in the family for decades, at least. Um, and she's pretty worn. And actually worn to the stage that the, uh, the trigger's actually packed up because she couldn't buy parts for it. But I didn't want to throw it away, so she's actually uh, permanently on. So I have to switch it on here. <laughs> Guys, so I've struck a bit of a problem. <coughs> so I want to keep this level, or reasonably level as I drill it, and get up to here, and the end of the bench is in the road. So I'm actually going to cut a little slot here, so that I can actually take the piece of steel the whole length. This, this ridge actually serves no real useful purpose, so I don't think it'll be missed. years ago there's been many times i've been cutting trying to um, drill stuff using this uh, drill press and the bench hasn't been long enough and um the solution was right there all right let's crack on
So here's another family heirloom, this old drill, drill press. You see this one's uh, quite a bit bigger. It's pretty worn out as well, but uh, belts tend to slip a little bit on this, but we'll see if we can uh, just get that last last hole. The drill bit's too big to fit in the other, um, the other drill press. Otherwise we might have to revert back to uh, a hand drill on the last uh, the last cut there. We'll see how we go. This is kind of tucked in the corner out of the way because as you've seen the size of my workshop, it's very big. Now, to be honest, I don't use this very often, but um, it's handy to have when I do need it. Guys, I've marked out the uh, pieces I need to cut out. So uh, let's fire up the old um, angle grinder with a cutting blade and see how we go. Check this out guys, all the critters are in here today, I don't know why they keep coming into the workshop, look at that beauty. Come on you, I wonder if it's got wings, let's just see if we can get it out without hurting it, there we go, come out here mate, there's a bit of greenage. Okay. Right guys, you can see I've um I've done the cutouts in each corner. So now that uh, next stage is to tack the thing together, so I'm going to weld it up, just tack it, so it's strong enough that I can move it around in one piece, and then just try it in the actual hole. challenge here is going to be to weld it um, flat and square. Well, the square is not so bad, but I'm trying to keep it flat because this floor isn't exactly 100% even. wish I had one of those fancy uh, welding tables. But um, I don't, so we'll just make do best we can.
Okay, so the next step is to make sure my the frame actually fits in the hole. Um, now, rather than try and balance the thing and struggle, I'm going to make a little bit of a frame up um, out of wood to sit basically underneath the frame. So I can just drop the frame on top of the wooden, I guess, platform. And um, I think that'll be a lot easier and safer. And also be good for when I want to um, drill the holes into the concrete. So that's the next, next little job. truth will the frame fit quite and that I think is because the hole isn't completely square Thank you. 
Close. Nice cigar. Oh, okay guys, I am um, I've used the big sleddy sledgy I should say and I've managed to ram that frame in there because it was, it was so close it wasn't funny um, but it's in now so all that time I may spent wasting waste all that time making that silly wooden frame complete waste of time <laughs> I guess it's such a tight fit it doesn't need it but never mind um, things in so I'll just get it a little bit better lined up now and then we'll drill some holes get some rods epoxied in and that'll probably probably be it for today I think we'll see how we go for time but um it's getting on in the day so um if I can get that done at least then it means means next week I can start welding up the rebar and creating the formwork and uh, get in that last section of um concrete done but at least one thing this frame's not going to fall out anytime soon <laughs> it's a real tight fit so yeah onward all right guys so that's uh, another weekend just about finished so i'll just um pan around there and show you what i've managed to get done this weekend so i've got this steel frame in so it's quite challenging to be honest because Although I tried to cut this whole square, it obviously wasn't completely square, which is disappointing. But um, anyway, the frame's in now, it's all welded up. Uh, these, these marks here, you can see this is where I've got um, rods going into the concrete. So there's three on each end and four down the sides. So that keys that into the um, existing floor really well. And then next weekend, I'll be running rebar from the bottom of this um, frame down to the existing rebar. Uh, so I'll probably put a few lengths all the way around and then I'll put some um, horizontal uh, eight probably just one maybe two horizontal lengths around and then I'll need to box that up and concrete it I concrete it up as high up to here as I can it's going to get a bit awkward obviously when I get to the top there but we'll see how that goes um yeah and that'll be the sort of the I guess the entrance way done as far as I'll do for now um, I just wanted to get that in before I start working on the elevator and so the next job after after I've got this concrete done is to get the elevator done so I'm really looking forward to doing that that's going to be a pretty challenging job but um, what I'm looking forward to and I'll be borrowing ideas from lots of people I've seen do it already across the internet uh, including Dale so um, shout out to you Dale, I'll be uh, copying some of your ideas on the elevator there with probably a bit of a twist of my own. So um, yeah that's another weekend, thanks for watching. Um, if you haven't already then do please subscribe so that you don't miss out on the uh, next update of this project. And thanks everyone that's been watching, shout out to my Patreons, Demon Zitto, Rumble Rick and Odvin V Magnuson, really appreciate your guys support and obviously um, appreciate everybody that's subscribed and uh, watching these videos 
and I hope you enjoy them and yep another week of work and then I'll be back in here next weekend so um until then Lex out <laughs>